Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. In this video, I'll be building Eagle Moss's Nissan GTR R35. I am on issue 7, stage 26. Now, this is the last stage that we build for issue 7. So, if you haven't noticed, I got a bad case of Corona hair. I haven't been to the barber shop in a couple of months. So, uh, I'm not used to having hair this long and it that, that crazy you know so uh, bear with me on that and uh, please forgive me for having this crazy looking hair here lately but anyway if you haven't done so already head over to Facebook and join my group that I uh, put out there specifically for this build where we can go ahead and share photographs and build and tips and hints on building this this particular car I put a link in the description below so let's go ahead and get started on stage 26 Here's the instructions for stage 26. This time we install the foot pedals onto the base. And we have two steps on the first page. Turn it over, then we have a final step. So with that I'll get these parts out, we'll get a closer look, and then we'll get the show rolling. Here's parts pack 26. Lots of little tiny parts in there. I will take these out and we'll get a closer look. Here's a close-up of those foot pedals. So we have the gas pedal right here, and then we have the brake pedal right there, and we have the foot rest right there. We have JP screws and GP screws, and that is uh, 25 cents from the Bahamas, just to kind of show you how big these are compared to a coin from the Bahamas. Let's get this party started. All right, let's get this started. So, let's get this started. Step one, we attach the brake pedal to the gas pedal. Now you can see here, we have just a little area that the brake pedal has to go into. And we got to screw that in with um, a JP screw. So, a little hard to get everything lined up, so why don't I use a bench vise to help me. For my third hand I'll go ahead and put this on the bench vise here, secure it down. And like I was saying you can pick up this vise on my Amazon store if you think it will help you out. And simply can line this up now and then I can install my screw very easily. There we go. That's done there. Next I'll attach the brake pedals to the lower base. It simply just goes down on top just like that. And we will install two GP screws. go and if you look a little closer here we can see what the foot pedals look like now on the back side the brake pedal goes through a hole there 
and I bet you that's going to actuate a switch for our brake lights. That's what that looks like so far. And lastly, they want us to put in the footrest. That just squeezes in. No screws required. You can see the alignment holes right there. Alignment tabs on this side. So for my footrest, my tabs actually broke off. So to fix that, I'm going to use some super glue and a glue lock looper. Apply some glue here. To the back side of the footrest. And we'll just glue that bad boy in place. There you go, just like that, all glued in. And that completes stage 26, where we assembled all the foot pedals. That was fun. I just had a little problem with the foot rest and ended up gluing it in place, no big deal. So, if you like what you saw in this video, please hit the like. If you don't subscribe, Please subscribe and hit the bell for all notifications. Head over to the Eagle Moss to subscribe to this. As of filming this video, they are sold out, but they are accepting pre-orders. So with that, happy modeling everybody. Take care and we will see you on stage 27.